Hello folks and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. Uh, I have some vapes that I found on the street. Sadly, they just get thrown out there these days. My understanding is they're a good source of lithium ion batteries. And I have had one apart in the past and I managed to get this out of it. Obviously, lithium ion batteries are very useful for projects and we will be making use of those. So let's just do a quick tear down on these two devices here. Uh, this one, whoop, there we go, that one came apart relatively easily. Um, I've got <laughs> I've got bog roll uh, just because I know this is likely going to get a little bit messy. And um, uh, let's use so, a knife that was very kindly given to me uh, by my friend. Uh, I need to do a bit of restoration work on the knife. Um, but yeah, so we've got sort of like a mouthpiece here that you suck on and uh, there's, uh, there's a little filter in there to stop juices from going into your mouth to only allow vapor to go into your mouth. And then there's a little rubber doofer. Uh, and then here we have, oh, here we have a plastic container. I would guess that probably contains um, some kind of cotton which has got all of the uh, vape juices uh, soaked into it and he, then a little bit more tugging and pulling uh, and and this is the coil so there's a coil that's wrapped in cotton here uh, and that is uh, and, and when the coil excites uh, it, it vaporizes the uh, uh, the, the the juices and then if we're lucky I'm just trying to pull on that but actually I think we might need to open it at the bottom there's a little hole at the bottom and we're sort of hoping that if I uh, use the knife the right way around I was sort of hoping that if I do put a bit of pressure on that uh, it might actually <laughs> that is not going anywhere uh, let's see if we can oh, okay so we've pulled that off um oh yeah okay i see i see the battery now this is dangerous um poking a knife down into the tube into the battery <laughs> this could all go wrong couldn't it i could end up with a uh could end up with a little fire on me hands Oh, and boom, there we go. Epic. And uh, and then we're left with a little hollow cylinder. So let's have a look. What have we got here? So we have got a 3.7 volt, 550 milliamp hour, 13400 battery. That is quite cool. And it says it's about 2.04 watt hours. That is really quite cool. Now, uh, there's what I don't understand about this is when you suck, <laughs> when you suck on it, when you suck on the little cap, uh, it activates the coil. So there must be some kind of electronics in here uh, that activate the coil. Um, this is an Elf Bar Cherry 2%. It says 600 on the tube so I'm assuming that's 600 tokes 600 pulls on the uh, on the on the thing right let me just uh, let me get rid of all of the junk there there's no elect there's there's just no there's no electronics I, I don't understand how how that works surely that coil has to be activated by some kind of a little micro or, or some kind of a pressure or flow sensor that detects when you're when you're uh, sucking on the uh, on the tip of the doodah, but um, all very interesting. <laughs> there is there is still a cable in there connected to the bottom of this. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just crush. Let's just crush this. There we go. Whoop. <laughs> right, go and find that little plastic thing that just shot out. All right, that went a mile away. It looks, it, it's weird actually, it looks like a tiny little microphone. I'm not sure if you can see that in there, um, but it looks like there's a tiny little microphone in it, like a little electric condenser microphone, uh, and it's got a red wire and a blue wire connected to it. And I can only assume 
is that that there is the flow sensor. So when you when you suck on the tip end, the bottom end switches on the coil. That is quite interesting. And actually, if you look here, there is a tiny little hole which allows uh, the air to flow up through the inside of the tube. So that then is a pressure switch. Let's just see, can we, can we get that pressure switch out without hurting ourselves? Um, oh yes, we can. Happy days. So there is our, oh wow, check it out. That is our flow switch. There's a tiny little black wire. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a tiny little black wire there. There's a blue wire and then there's the red wire. And actually that looks like an LED there and it's all potted. Um, so yeah, okay, cool. But yeah, that must be the uh, that must be the flow switch that turns on the coil. All right, very cool. Let's open this guy. This is an Elux Legend. <laughs> <laughs> 3,500 puffs blueberry sour raspberry. Uh, so let's get this thing apart uh, without hurting ourselves, I hope. All right, the lid came off relatively easily. Uh, again, all of this stuff I've picked up off the street. I have to wash my hands after, after all of this. And uh, uh, okay, there's a little metal cap there with um, some kind of tube associated with it. And that is where all of the e-liquid sits. So there's actually quite a big chamber in there with plenty of e-liquid. Um, oh, wow. And then the coil in this one looks quite interesting. Let me see if I can pull this out. There we go. Okay, it's all starting to come. Do, 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 do. Yes, all right. Yeah, so that again, that's the housing for the uh, for the for the e-liquid, and and here's the coil. So again, uh, we've got a winding and a little bit of cotton around that, um, and yeah, and there is the coil, and it is quite literally a coil, as you can see, and, and there's that little bit of. Um, and I believe it's tungsten. I'm not sure if it's tungsten. Uh, and there's a little bit of cotton that goes around the coil and that creates the vapor mist. Right, let's see if we can continue to pull this apart. Right. Interesting to see what's in these things anyway. And uh, also interesting to know what people are putting into their lungs. This must be better than smoking real cigarettes. Right, let's have a look inside there. What have we got? Uh, we've Well, we've certainly got a, a fatter looking battery in there. And on the bottom of this guy, we can see we can see what looks like a couple of holes. One of them's probably an airflow hole for the uh, for the airflow uh, device. Let's just see if um, if we can get the bottom off this. Ah, uh, yes, we can. Yeah, yeah, the bottom's coming off this a little bit easier than the last one. All right. <laughs> Boom. Oh, oh, wow. Ha, we've hit the jackpot. Check that out. So that is 1,500 milliamp hour, 5.5 watts. And that's a 2,400. That is one beast of a battery. And then at the very bottom there, you can see again that little same sort of sensor, but it's looking a little bit corroded down there. That's looking not very pretty. That's probably because it was sitting out in the rain and in the middle of the street. I'm surprised it didn't get run over and explode. But people throw these things away. They chuck them in their bins and uh, ultimately uh, they end up going into landfill. So you end up with like loads of lithium going into landfill and stuff. Um, right, this is just open this up this the the important thing here obviously for me i just want the batteries a little bit of corrosion still going on here but how cool is this this is really quite cool it's nice to know that we have effectively got a free source of lithium cells but this this is an absolute beast of a lithium cell right let's just cut those cables so there we have it folks we have got a combined total 2600 milliamp hours worth 
of lithium cells there and they've only been used once they've been charged once and they've been discharged once how cool is that well, i'm going to keep my eye out for plenty more of these things going forwards so having had a little bit of a clean up i thought it would be a good idea to see what kind of voltage we see out of these batteries so this battery is uh, 2.2 volts so that should be rechargeable uh, so it looks like that battery's functioning uh, negative on this end positive on that end this battery is 3.2 volts so no problems there that'll work an absolute treat and this battery is 3.3 volts so all of those batteries should be happily rechargeable and will probably last quite a few hundred cycles so the next thing to do is to find a project for these batteries to power but uh, yeah i'm quite happy we've got a bunch of lithium cells and we definitely hit the jackpot with this big fat chunky beast here ladies and gentlemen take care have a wonderful week and weekend and we will catch you again in another video cheers and beers for now bye bye yeah. <laughs> I don't have to touch anything. Hands on.